News 8 exclusive now. The New Haven police officer who was inside a cruiser when it was carjacked, sharing his story for the first time. News 8's Eva Zermara sat down with him one-on-one. -on -one. She is live now with more on what he had to say. Eva. Darren, this is not something that you see every day. Officer Carla Rock was doing his job finishing a report when the unexpected happened. He took me back to that night sharing in his words what unfolded. The night of August 4th turned out to be a shift unlike any other for New Haven police officers Carla Rock and Ramon Rios. We were getting a lot of calls. Calls after call, clear, go to another one. They had just wrapped a call when Officer Rock says they went to the police substation on Congress Avenue. He mentioned, let's go to PD5. We're going to take a quick bite. And then we're going we're gonna to be out on the street again. So me, I started typing. As he was finishing the report, Rock tells me he started noticing someone walking back and forth near their cruiser. He knocked in the window at that time. I wasn't thinking anything wrong. I wanted to just provide assistance. Recognizing the man who was known to police, Rock unlocked the cruiser to get out and help. All I heard is someone pulling on the door. So he's already trying to get inside, but I'm trying to push him. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? He said, they coming. I said, who's coming? I know I'm a cop and I have tools that I can use, but at that time, Believe it or not, I wasn't thinking as a cop. I didn't want to use my tools at all. So he just put the car in gear and jam on the, on the gas. Fearing for their safety and the safety of others, Rock turned the wheel, crashing into a nearby church, bringing the cruiser to a stop. Oh, I'm a believer, I believe in God. That night, I believe, is, is the grace of God. God was there with me. Officer Rios, hearing the sounds of the cruiser taking off, came running. Both Rock and the suspect sustaining minor injuries from the crash. That was like a happy moment to see him coming. The suspect, 50-year-old Stacy Footman, was taken into custody. He now faces a number of charges, including larceny and kidnapping. Rock says he's just happy everyone was safe and the incident wasn't worse. He's alive, I'm alive. That's all that matters. He's back on the streets in the city he's sworn to protect and serve. As a police officer, our job is very difficult. And we're trying our best every night to make it home and to be safe. And at the same time, trying to provide help to the city and to make sure that every, everyone is safe as well. That is unbelievable. That could have ended very differently. Who would think someone would try to go into a police car with an officer sitting inside? It's crazy. Absolutely. And I did speak with New Haven Police Chief Carl Jacobson about this today. He told me what Officer Rock did was amazing. He said being a new officer and reacting in such a way is truly extraordinary. And they are very proud of him. Officer Rock also wanted to thank all of his department members as well, just for all of the support that he's received these last mm -hmm. few weeks. He says between text messages, phone calls, He's really feeling the love from his department members. Scary stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Right. Yep. Thanks, Eva. Thank you.